needs to be addressed versus just looking at disease and saying, well, that needs to be radiated or that needs to be cut out and then we'll, you know, we'll, I'll hope you live, in, you know, 15 years from now. No, that's a low quality of care. It's, it's terrible. You know? So, um, so to check on that, so, you know, compounds or supplementation such as chrysin. Now, chrysin is a compound that downregulates or uh, or shuts down that conversion of testosterone into estrogen. This is a natural compound, and, and it has uh, very little side effects, if any. Right? This just helps support the body's hormonal conversions like that. So, this this is a good deal because not only does uh, uh, high estrogens increase the risk of prostate cancer, but so does very high testosterone. There needs to be a very delicate balance in between these these hormones. So if someone, if, if a male has high estrogen, you can put them on some chrysin. That helps downregulate that aromatase we talked about, or that conversion from testosterone to estrogen. You can put them on some chrysin, and that will help them out on top of looking at the liver. Make sure the liver is being, uh, is clearing these uh, estrogens like they should, right? And on top of that, you look at all the big, you know, the, all the big systems that need to be, uh, to be balanced out. Blood sugar level, huge, you know? One of the big things that, that makes that aromatase or that conversion from testosterone to estrogen happen is insulin. How many insulin problems do we have these days? How many diabetics do you see? How many hypoglycemic women and men do you see? It's rampant. That's why we see these these cancer, uh, you know, the cancer becoming a, a huge pandemic. Is because we have so many other systems that are being uh, destroyed by our environment. And who's and who's regulating like the the foods and, and the stuff that we eat? The FDA, you know. Give me a break. I mean, again, that's a, a subject for another time. But um, so uh, back to addressing prostate cancer. So um, some of the things that need to be done. Um, let's just recap. Things like I3C to help the liver produce uh, more of those twos or those good estrogens, so they can be washed away easily. Um, decreasing the aromatase expressions by fixing blood sugar issues, using support like chrysin to keep testosterone from developing in estrogens, and of course the immune system. We'll, we'll get into that into very much depth, but there's a, a certain compound I like to use with my cancer patients. Uh, it's called MGM-3, and what that is, it's a, uh, it's a natural botanical that increases uh, immunity, specifically uh, what's called natural killer cells. Natural killer cells are the cells that go around to each cell in the body and say, hey, are you multiplying correctly? Are you multiplying correctly? Oh, you're not? You're, you're multiplying way too fast. You've kind of getting out of control. So we're going to gobble you up. That's what natural killer cells do. So when someone goes under radiation, what do you think happens to those cells? Dead. Right? Same thing with chemo. You know, both of those approaches are approaches that are meant to destroy everything and just hoping that it doesn't kill you first. Again, it's sick care. You know, and, it, and I, I totally understand. Some, when cancer has got to be an extremely scary, scary situation, it's just kind of like, all right, do, what, do whatever, do whatever. But we're not making educated decisions these days. We're making reactive decisions. Right? We see the MD badge and we say, hey, you're an MD, I trust you. Well, things need to be integrated because things aren't working out these days. You know, cancer rate's getting better. In some areas, but do you see the reason why? Because people are changing their lifestyle. Weird. Not that cancer treatments are getting any better, right? So, anyways, that's um, we'll round that up for today. There's a lot more to talk about on prostate cancer. I'll probably do uh, several series on this because uh, we want to talk about 
uh, other other type of treatments uh, that seem to do really well with uh, with cancers, such as uh, pancreatic enzymes. We'll go over some research on pancreatic enzymes and how they affect uh, uh, cancer cell growths and and um, and some of the other functional medicine approaches. Okay, I'm Dr. Brady, and I run a clinic here in Atlanta, Georgia. It's called True Health. It's the Center for Functional Medicine, and we see advanced cases and uh, treat advanced cases with natural protocols and using the uh, most up-to-date, latest diagnostic technology. So, uh, this is it for today. We will uh, we'll see you, and keep, please keep my uh, my uncle in, uh, in your in your thoughts. Um, he's going through a really tough time right now, so uh, we're going to get down there to Louisiana and uh, try to see him and uh, try to do the best we can for him. Okay, I don't know.